The $40 billion deal to buy the semiconductor businesses that helps power smartphones, tablets and countless other devices from SoftBank was announced in September 2020 but now faces a gauntlet of antitrust reviews to be approved. The U.K. Department for Digital Culture, Media and Sport announced on Tuesday that it would push for the British antitrust regulator, the Competition and Markets Authority CMA, to run a six-month in-depth review of the deal on competition and national security grounds. The deal had already been flagged by the CMA in January over fears that NVIDIA's takeover would lead to its rival losing access to ARM's innovative chips that power Apple, Samsung and Sony devices, while the U. S, China and the European Union have also opened competition probes. ARM has a unique. The CMA will now report to me on competition and national security grounds and provide advice on the next steps, Digital Secretary Nadine Dorries said in a statement. The government's commitment to our thriving tech sector is unwavering and we welcome foreign investment, but it is right that we fully consider the implications of this transaction. The deal has been opposed by Google, Microsoft and shipmaker Qualcomm, who argued that takeover would threaten arms. The new delay will be a blow to NVIDIA CEO Jensen Wong and SoftBank, which bought ARM for $32 billion in 2016.